Sun Yi Museum of Formosan Aborigines exhibited some 100 precious artifacts on Taiwan's indigenous culture provided by the National Museum of Ethnology, Nimpaku, in Osaka. The cultural items dated between 1900 to 1940 were collected by Japanese anthropologists and ethnologists, including Torii Ryuzo and Kano Tatao, during the Japanese occupation of the island. This is a significant event because it is the first time a Japanese museum has loaned artifacts to a private museum outside of Japan. We set up a Sun Yi Formosan Aborigines Research Center in Japan and recruit some 30 Japanese academics doing research on the indigenous peoples in Taiwan. Over 10 books documenting their research work have been published. Our joint research project with Japan has been successful. The National Museum of Ethnology in Osaka has collected over 260,000 artifacts from the indigenous communities around the world, including 5,000 pieces from Taiwan. Exhibited items including clothes, head ornaments, coin necklace from the pin-up indigenous, the crown of Zhou chief, a Paiwan bronze sword, and three Ataya or Sasiat sacks. Such rare artifacts can no longer be found in Taiwan. The clothes of Pingpu indigenous people in Jilong, hair ornaments of those in Danshui, a bronze sword for the Paiwan, and a coin necklace of the Dawu in Lanyu were discovered in 1900. Between 1920 and 1930, three sacks belong either to the Ataya or Sasya people and the crown of a Zhou chief were found. In Japan, in the Japanese society, only Tokyo University will study and preserve such artifacts. So people usually give their collections to Tokyo University. Not only the items found by anthropology professors or students in their field projects, but also collections of the common people end up in the university. They usually give the artifacts to the university because they know we do this kind of research. Some artifacts are collected for academic research. Some are provided by private Japanese collectors. The origins of certain items dated over 100 years ago and cannot be traced, such as this top, which according to the documentation, was from the pin-up indigenous in the Sandiao community in Jilong. Many of these artifacts are no longer found in Taiwan. Both museums are tight-lipped about the details of the other artifacts to be put on display, only confirming that more Pingpu artifacts will be loaned. Origins of some pieces are hard to trace. Japanese academics in the old days did quite some research on Lanyu. Some artifacts found in Lanyu will also be exhibited this time. This necklace uses coins circulated in the Qing dynasty. It shows that Lanyu people were already communicating with the outside world around 1900. According to documentation, the necklace was found in Lanyu. It's interesting that the Dawu people in Lanyu strung the coins together to make a necklace. This means that at that time, people in Lanyu were already in contact with the outside world. In addition, there are three sacks that could either be from the Sasya people or the Ataya people, and a chief's crown from the Zhou tribe. These hundred-year-old indigenous artifacts reveal tracks of history and reflect efforts of the Japanese people in ancient artifacts collections. TITV Weekly.